No. Should have made the owl bear bigger, but he's not really doing anything, so perhaps that's best. Hey, Strange Shade, welcome. Giant sized Valerie. Of course, it couldn't be cool and fun. It's gonna be some random bandit getting the kill. Come on, you got this! For the win! I can't yes! Fall. At least it was one of us. After so long, I learned to stand. I... The stag lord clutches something resembling a charm in his bloody fingers, seemingly placing the last of his hope into it. You hear a snapping sound, and then a dull sigh bursts from the stag lord's chest. <gasps> Catacut, I know of the pain you've endured in your life, but that doesn't excuse the atrocities you committed. Spare me your compassion, your judgment. I, I'll sleep now. I'll wait for her. My dream. So what is he doing? Putting himself to sleep? <laughs> Everybody, no country for bandits. Everyone walking away. Come here. Is the owlbear going to go back to his pen? What a good owlbear. Oh, disappeared. Not everybody leveled up. The people who died. Do the people that die get no experience? How do you see your experience? Help me out, chat. Where's uh, where's experience points? It's under where it says level up. Wait. Oh, they, he did level up? How come they don't have a plus for everybody? That's really odd. You leveled this, just not showing on the screen. That's a little janky. Okay. Okay, good. Because I was, I was willing to, I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna wrap up the stream there and just be like, all right, I'm gonna do this fight offline <laughs> until my characters don't die, so I can level up with them. Yeah. Helvetica, you got to put an owlbear in a D&D game you're running. You've used their Mimic and Ropers and other classic monsters already. In the campaign I'm running, we've I've used owlbears twice now. I did an owlbear matriarch, which I bumped up the stats. And I had it um, kind of approach their camp in the bushes, unseen. And they heard something rustling in the bushes while they were camping. And uh, the party sorcerer went to investigate and got absolutely decimated. She charged right into the bush. She's like, I go right into the bush. Go see what it is. <laughs> the sorcerer. <laughs> Level like three. Um, so yeah, she got decimated. And then I put, uh, I was just talking to Azari. I put two of them in a, uh, locked up in a castle. And when they freed them, they like rampaged through the castle because they were like starving and abused. And basically attacked anything in their way. Little Darkson, you watched a campaign uh, one shot a while ago where a character was named the Owlbear? How great is that? Did Sven say there would be one in Baldur's Gate 3 as well? I wouldn't be surprised me. It's iconic. Very iconic. 
Okay, the Stag Lord information updated base comments for Inish. Okay. All right. Just in case we need to reload anything here. I'm listening. The Stag Lord's treasure. Holy balls. This is great. Mugletart barely, barely beat him. We had three characters dead. All right. Stag Lord's broken charm. A charm once worn by the Stag Lord. It's smeared with blood. It probably used to have something inside it, but it's empty now. Okay. A composite longbow unidentified. The Savage Bow. Studded leather unidentified. Woodlands Aegis. A helmet. The Stag Helmet. Boots. Boots of elven kind. Bracers. Lesser bracers of archery. Oh, if I had like a nice archery character, it would be great. Cloak. I guess we Octavia. Cloak of Winter Vale. Wow, he had the best stuff. He literally had the best stuff. Okay, this is from Dovan from Nisroksh. I never got to talk to them. Would uh would have Dovan and Ox talk to me if I went over there first? Was there a chance to like turn them against them too? No. Okay. All right. A rapier. Agile rapier plus one. A chain shirt plus one. Ring of protection plus one. A simple toy, uh, wooden toy, one of those that you often see in the hands of peasant children. It's polished to a sheen due to frequent use. Toy dragon. I guess ox was a little simple. I don't know. Nuts. He was a little nuts. Great club. A plus two great club. And a belt of mighty constitution. I will skin them all. Yeah, I know. Ranger gear. I have no ranger. <laughs> wow, that's good stuff. Good stuff. The helmet focuses wearer's attention on the weak points of an enemy, giving plus one insight bonus to attack rolls against flat-footed and flanked targets. <laughs> Amiri looks amazing. I love that you get to pick up the Stag Lord stuff. Are those toys anything or just merchant fodder? I have no idea. I don't know. Great club plus two is 1d10. Plus two enhancement bonus. Wow. It's two handed. Worth giving that to Amira, you think? Maybe you get the chance to give them to a small child, maybe. All right, belt of constitution. She's got a cloak too. Uh, cloak gives its wearer plus one resistance bonus on all saving throws and cold resistance 10. The cloak of winter veil. Can barely see it on her. We'll see. I'm not sure to give everything to yet. All right. So her hit points. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Tries to put on the belt and misses. Okay, 57 max hit points.
Turn off her backpack? I forget where you do that. How do you turn off the backpack? Turn on your back. Oh, over here. Sorry. Never mind. Bloop. And then you can see it a little better. She still has a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, it's just brown. It's fine. I don't know who to give it to yet. She already got two things. Savage bow. What does this thing do? 1d8. This uh, composite longbow grants its wielder the ability to cast... Aspect of the Falcon three times a day as a first level druid for one minute each time. When the wielder assumes the aspect of the Falcon, they gain a plus three competence bonus on perception checks, plus one competence bonus on attack rolls with ranged weapons, and the critical modifier for bows and crossbows becomes 19 to 20 and times three. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, you can't turn off her giant sword. That bow made you sad you had no one to use it since it's composite. Um, yeah, that this right here, knowing that you get this treasure, is reason right there to make your character a ranger. Or, or a fighter archer, you know, an archer specialist at the very beginning of the game. Because you know at the at this point you're going to get all this insane gear. You know what I mean? See, even get this. Lesser Bracer of Archery. Alright, I think... Maybe Octavia can utilize this stuff best? I'm not 100% sure. But that's what I'm thinking. Oh, Bracers of Armor doesn't work with her. Oh, she's already got a ring. Is that why? No. Look, uh... Oh, it's because of the armor? Because of the chain shirt? Your first playthrough, really, was a ranger bard? Oh, nice. I bet you were excited. You do have those respects. I know, I know. But I that would totally change, like, everything. Bracers of armor and actual armor don't stack. Okay. Yeah. So she's got bracers of archery, and he's already got one, and I've already got So I actually don't need this just yet, bracers of armor. Okay, so she's got bracers of archery. I guess she's going to get the savage bow. Yes. Agile rapiers, and like, who else would use the rapier, too? I don't think her. It's probably not going to get used much. Do something like that, you know, give it to her. Does what do more or less damage, Strange Jay? Yeah, the Agile equals Dex to damage, yeah. Yep. But the reason, I mean, I don't see Lindsay being in melee range all that often. But in case she is, we've got that. The Cloak of Winter Veil. Vale. Fuzzy cloak. Octavia has a rogue level. She does. She does. She's currently using the plus one short spear. Yeah. I don't I think I think it's I think it's the same whether I have that agile thing on Octavia or Lindsay. Neither one of them I want. In hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat. Um, Lindsay actually has a lot more health. Because she's not a rogue wizard. <laughs> so Lindsay can actually... 
go into melee a little bit more. All right, anybody need a ring of protection? I still got Tartugios. Lindsay can wear that, right? 20? Um, anything else? We got Boots of Elvenkind. Plus five competence bonus on mobility checks. Minus six mobility. Plus five. Minus one. Plus eleven. Plus ten. Plus one. Does it matter who I put that these on? Boots of elven kind? You would think the elf would be like, uh, those should go to me. I am an elf. And then we got the armor. I can't believe how much good treasure you get here. Woodland Aegis. Studded leather. Plus two. And allows you to cast bark skin once per day as a third level druid. Applause, please. He can't wear it. I can't wear it. Breastplate plus one's better. Chain shirt plus one. Pretty similar. She could actually wear she can actually wear this. Did she get art? She would get an arcane uh, spell failure, though. Yeah, fifteen percent. We don't want that. So I guess it's barred. And we still don't know what this broken charm does. All right, and I have a great club too. What does that look like? That looks amazing. <laughs> She'll hit more often with it. I mean, it does slightly less damage than the plus one greatsword. Slightly. It's, it's a difference of 2d6, rolling 2d6 versus 1d10. Still nice to have a bludgeon option. Yeah. I mean, I won't have the greatsword equipped. Look at this pile of bodies. The crit range is... Oh, I didn't even look at the crit range, Thornfield. Maybe you're right. Oh, it's only, it's only on a roll of a 20. This is 19 to 20. All right, you've convinced me. I'm convinced. Crit range is better. Yeah, so the Great Club plus two. I, I don't think we have somebody to really use that. Do not falter. Albert's still there. Albert's still there. Look around the fortress. It belongs to you now. They called us traitors, but I think pragmatists is more I fitting. I believed in you so much, Stag Lord. And now? Now you're just a dead sack of bones. Yeah. Dead sack of bones. As opposed to a live sack of bones. What's that? It's a trap. Oh, I'll go inside the house, Adelis. I did as you asked. Don't you worry. We're just picking up some fish first. Fresh fish. I can see my destination. We catch them, you buy them.
Okay, I think we got everything. Just double check over here. A kukri. Plus one kukri. Bing. So this is the kind of thing. All right. So you guys, you know how you guys have been telling me like there is a mod if you want that allows you to rotate the camera. And I was going to pull the trigger on it because I feel like it's really necessary. But situations like this. They said, if you rotate your camera here and you see the backside of this cliff, it's not really ready for prime time. These are the kind of reasons why they didn't allow you to rotate the camera is because they're using the, these perspective tricks that would suddenly not work if you could rotate the camera. But I'm glad to hear that they are changing that for the sequel. And I know we have all the levels to, to, to do, but I will probably You see that? Not do that just yet. The sequel's pretty. Nice. Alright, so is this like another and should I heal up? I feel I don't feel like I want to heal up. I am your shield. How may I help? Come on, do better than five. Seven. Tristan can't pick locks. I want. Hmm. I don't want Tristan to do it. Done and done. Moonstone. You really have to build the wor world with the camera in mind. Absolutely, and uh, which they did, but I think they just underestimated the importance of being able to rotate your camera in a game like this. Diamond Dust, Ink, The Legend of the Pathfinder, that's me. Lots more treasure in here, huh? We'll have to replace the rugs. I don't like their rugs that they chose. A map. Prodigal Sons. Inventory is gonna be a mess. Gonna be a mess? It's already a mess. This requires your attention. Eggs. Oh, new gra! That's the dad, isn't it? I did as you asked. That is the dad. Nugra. This exit to the fort backyard looks abandoned. It seems that the bandits barely use it. A grinding stone. Yeah. Combat is adjourned! Was I supposed to talk to him first through the door? Why does he think he can like beat us? Level seven druid. Was I supposed to talk to him? <laughs> Whoops. I'll fight if I have to. He said, stranger, stranger wants my blood. I know when you open the door. Okay, guys, tell me if I should reload the game. You want, you may try to save, you may try to save scum. Yeah, should I reload this? I did not expect him to just fight us. That seems kind of ludicrous. You can't talk to him? This is where I step in. Foreign body. That's what I think of your thorn body. Repent. 
What? You can't stop me. Onward. Strike. Oh, no fear. We've used all of our heals already. Ah! Maybe we should find Nugra the Druid, the insane father of the Stack Lord. Uh, let me just look that up real quick. Quick. What was that guy's name? New Nugra. Any way to not kill Nugra? I don't think so. Don't open the cell door. I just left him there. I wish I could recruit him as an advisor, though, on an evil campaign. His mind is completely broken, and you're expecting him as an advisor? He would have made a fine pet at court. Okay. So I guess no. I guess you're supposed to kill him. Nugra's crumpled note. He calls to her again, his queen. He drinks. He calls to her. He drinks again. I have no idea who she is. I can't even tell if she exists outside his own drunken vision. But I know he'll call to her. And then he'll crash around angrily, yelling that she didn't come. Then he'll come for me. I obey the rules. I do as he says. I keep silent until he allows me to speak, but he still beats me every time he drinks and rages. He said he'll burn my hands in acid next time. Will I still be able to write? I... Masterwork Club. They left him in here with his magical hide armor plus two? What? They didn't take it? Oh, you got a little storage chest here. Is this going to be my storage chest forever and ever? I put my books in here. Hear me chest? What's a hear me chest? Focus on the goal. Okay. It's an herb chest? Oh, herb chest that tricked. Oh, I see what you mean. What do I have to use? One of these? Oh, no, herbs. I'm sorry. I'm being dumb. Do I have any herbs? Nice. Oh, all the books went. When's the last time I saved it? <laughs> when did I save it? Outside. I'm an idiot. It's true, chest. It is. Yeah. I lost all those books I put in it, though. I hope that's not bad. You'll find you'll find many copies of those books later. Okay. Even the crumpled Nurgra uh, thing, crumpled note from Nurgra. Stone skin and a wand of cat's grace. Okay. As long as you guys tell me that I didn't make a huge mistake, I'll go with it. If I made a huge mistake, tell me now. Alright, so Wand of Cat's Grace. Nothing critical lost 
I think. Done. Ah, uh, no, I'm embarrassed. Go, Lindsay. Anything else? Punching dagger. Plus one punching dagger. Padded armor. Plus one. I did as you asked. Silver buckle. Empty wine bottles cover the floor. Rusty horseshoe. That note seems intended for player info to clean up the Stag Lord story with his dad. Got it. The luxurious bed is untouched. It seems like it hasn't been slept in for some time. All right. Anything else I need to explore in here? Okay. So... So I guess the next step would be to go all the way back up north and then turn that in. So there's no big cell. I like that his leg is all. Is that his leg bent back? Yeah, look at him. His legs bent backwards up there. I kind of expected like my party to like talk to each other or something here. You know? I would ex I kind of expected everybody to have a big powwow come up with a plan here. I'm not going to do the leveling up right now. I got to think about that tonight a little bit. Uh Let's Go. Very cool, though. Very cool. See? Look at that. I almost left a masterwork club behind. Which is worth it. And onions. Who had those onions? All right, we also had a... Plus one padded armor, do we need that? No, it's only two. Plus two hide armor. Does seven armor classes is six, okay. Here we go. So I can go back to Oleg, turn in this quest, and then not advance the story, right? Correct.
Try to avoid. Evade. They're gonna get tired at some point. I need to catch my breath. We made it. Oh, oh, what about the dude with the spear? I have no idea what you're talking about. May we have a moment of respite? What are you talking about? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Nettles crossing? Nettles rest? Oh, the guy. Oh, 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 oh. What did, what did he, we have to do for him? The undead guy? I, 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 I'm sorry, gang. My memory is toast. I have no idea. Riverbed nightmare. He wanted you to kill the Stagler. Okay, but is that is that where I needed to, to turn it in or here? Okay, so the one sending us those nightmares was David Davik Nettle formerly a ferryman now a creepy corpse Yeah, he's the undead guy eager to get revenge on the Stagler, but this is why we came in the first place. Ah, okay That's a side quest. Okay. We'll go there, too. We'll do that, too. There we go. Valerie catches up with you near the trading post and touches you on the shoulder. Silas, can I talk to you? Now that the Stag Lord is defeated, you rightfully own the Stolen Lands. Jamandi Alduri will endorse you and grant you the Baron's title. The girl looks at you with interest and a little apprehension. What will you do when you sit on the throne, Silas? Please don't say that you haven't thought about it. Uh, well, I, uh, I've, I've, I've thought about it. You know, here and there. Uh, Lawful Nurture. There's enough work to do in the Stolen Lands. Running off bandits, founding a state, protecting the common people. I'm not worried about what I'll do. All that matters is what I'll be getting. Sitting on a throne could be a lucrative occupation. Whatever happens, I hope you are beside me. I appreciate your help, and I appreciate you yourself, Valerie. Hmm. Hmm. Lawful neutral. Not really my thing. Let's see this one. Valerie carefully studies your face for a long time as if trying to find something. Finally, she gives you a soft smile and shakes her head. I would put down any other man who would say this, but not you. I'm sure you value me, my support, and my military talent. What did I say that wants her to kill me? What? I don't get it. Did I say something wrong? I would have killed any other man for saying that they liked me. I said something right, because she didn't want to kill me. I know, right? But still. I didn't think it was that uh, contentious of a line. Oh, the Vegas Pro bundle on Humble is back for anyone interested. Which version of Vegas Pro? Gang, that's the editing software that I've uh, used pretty much exclusively during my YouTube career. It's a really powerful uh, video editor. Highly recommend it. You can get it probably for 25 bucks. She's had issues with lots of suitors wooing her for her looks. Okay, got it. Thanks for pointing that out, Edot. And if you type exclamation point humble, you can go and uh, take a look at that. Vegas Pro 16 edit. Okay, nice. So check that out by going right here. Aww. Boop. All right, the Stag Lord's gone. We found his fortress and sent the villain to oblivion. 
Oleg looks at you with respect boarding on adm admiration. And good riddance. Maybe now we'll be able to actually live in the stolen lands rather than just surviving. Without a doubt, more people will flock here now. It'll sure to boost trade, but all the noise they'll bring, well, that's none of your concern. I bet you can't wait to return to Restov and report your great victory. Um, I still have unfinished business here. Restov awaits would continue, correct? So, there we go. So that's how I advance it. I have to speak to him. Okay. Spoken? Have anything new? No. Show me what you have. I have to buy more stuff. I think we should probably, uh... First of all, we're gonna get 1,200 just from doing that. Steal! Oh, it fudges up his inventory. How funny. Okay, um... I wonder if I should just move on to these potions. Healing potions are cheap and invaluable. Yeah, but should I move on to the cure moderates of the world? You wind up hoarding them all? Yeah. How much would that cost? 5,000. That's too much. Something like that, maybe. 3,000? Hey, Tomic. And... They didn't get any more scrolls of bless, huh? No more scrolls of bless in stock that were super cheap? All right. I'm sure we have other things to sell too. Masterwork clubs. Composite longbows. I kind of feel like I should sell all these to the other guy. So let me snag that. I'll give him all the junk. Yeah, uh, and then things like this. Uh, they they do they give you a lot of like odd weapons, don't they? Punching daggers, kukris. I guess they have to be. Uh, they have to give out loot to every type of character. Porting cure lights is good out of combat. Yeah, they account for any build you want to play. Yeah, that's pretty good. It's funny, I, I wonder if you guys have this. Any, any of you guys are dungeon masters. I wonder if you guys have this concern sometimes. Um, if you're a dungeon master and you're, let's say you're creating characters with your players and one, and one of them picks one of those weird weapons, right? They're like, I wanna use like a chain whip or uh, you know, the kukri or just some odd, really odd weapon. It's hard to give them treasure, <laughs> isn't it? Because you're like, all right, if I suddenly put down a plus one man catcher, <laughs> they're gonna be like, uh, I guess you put that in there for me. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys ever feel that way? It's like you suddenly find a plus two double bladed sword. What? Yeah. All right. Is there anything uh, else that will happen like plot wise now that I'm back here? How may I serve you? I have needed the help of a cleric, of course. 
Oh, this is where the blesses were. Oh, I could do prayers. Each of your foes takes the minus one penalty. Oh, those are nice. That's nice. Scrolls of Resurrection. All right, I'll play around with this. You remember eventually never going back there? Pathfinder 2nd Edition does great by having you put runes on weapons so the players can upgrade their gear instead of getting the perfect drops. Ah, okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Let's see if we can talk to Svetlana about her sister at all. The Stag Lord is defeated. Svetlana, so, uh, soon everything will change around here. It seems like I've completely forgotten how to hope for the better, but my heart already belongs to these wild lands. Perhaps in time they'll grow into a peaceful and prosperous country. Yay! And Keston. See you later. And Kressel. Oh, Kressel's here. Her sister's here. Hi there, stranger. I'm Irina, Svetlana's sister. I just arrived recently. Okay. Irina? Why the masquerade? It's just... I want to start a new life. To forget everything from before. Even my old name. I see you're settling in just fine. I won't be here long. Just enough to help Svetlana with her work around the post. I owe her that much. Then I'll be on my way. Still haven't decided where to go, though. What happened to the rest of the Stag Lord's gang? Right after battle in the Stag Lord's fortress, Akiros just dissolved like morning fog. I heard him mumble something about repaying old debts as he left. He's no fool. I guess he won't show his face in the Stolen Lands again. Too many people recognize him for being the Stag Lord's right hand. Yeah, he'll, he'll come back. The remnants of the gang all scattered. I'd wager someone's already announced himself as the new Stag Lord and got a knife in the liver from some other wannabe heir. I have to go farewell. Thornfield says it's so weird how she has full voice acting, but companions don't for their conversations. I would love, like, there is a lot of story when you talk to each one of your companions, and it's been a lot of reading for me as I'm streaming it. It would be so great to have all of this be voiced. It's a shame. It's a shame but it is what it is all right gang i'm gonna wrap things up there and then tonight i'm gonna look over uh my builds and figure out my leveling up and then uh tomorrow we'll um likely play some more we'll see we'll see what's going on but at least i can you know i'll probably do you guys mind if i level up offline or do you guys like watching the leveling up too much because maybe I, I i can either plan the leveling up and then do it first thing tomorrow with the plan um or i could just do it tonight and we'll be ready to go tomorrow where did i just save it under end of sesh yeah you're welcome up wind no let us yell at your bad choices oh i don't care if you guys don't like my choices. That's fine. That's okay. 